This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Young Rich Moolah has seen the Surviving Son of Girl series, which has been made by several of the ladies. And he said, since he is the sole owner of Red Rum TV, he does feel some type of way about what they've been saying. And he has spoken on this before, but this is what he had to say recently. Shout out K-Regan, shout out Chastity. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all girls. Y'all some solid. Y'all stand up. Like I said, send y'all cast tapes out. WW, well, not even WW. Red Rum Worldwide LLC at gmail.com. Go subscribe at www.redrumtv.com. Shout out to my cast members that's really pushing, doing the right way, not being fangirls, standing on y'all principles, y'all morals, all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. You know, this is the most ratchet reality network in the world. This is what I get paid to do. Um, we love to hate. I love to hate. Without, if you ain't doing nothing positive to get the haters, you ain't doing enough. So all I'm doing is is what I'm supposed to do. I'm giving these young ladies platforms. I'm trying to clear all the put on their name. Just let let them be stars. What they came for. All that extra shit. We ain't, they ain't signed up for that. I ain't signed up for that either, but I don't get paid extra to make somebody life harder or smush somebody's name and make shit up. We don't get paid extra for that. So, you know, I pay my cast members, the ones that was, I'm the reason they got paid, the ones that got paid. Anybody that didn't get paid, I had no idea about it. I gave the money out for it to be handed out. If they didn't, didn't get paid, they probably didn't complete the show. In the contract, it did say you get paid upon completion of the show. If you didn't complete the show, you're not going to get paid. That's like if you go to work and you leave early, you're not going to get the check for the rest of the day. Typically, at most nine to five jobs where you're paid hourly, if you come in and you do two hours and you get terminated, you get paid the two hours. I've been terminated from two jobs. One of the jobs, I was paid for the full day, even though I was terminated. I only worked a couple of hours. The other job... I was only paid for the hours I worked. So I really don't know. I don't know in the acting world, if you do not work your full day, you don't get paid at all. I have no clue. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. It don't work like that, Charles. business. Wake up and smell the coffee, people. Um, but I have no problem with getting them right. Anybody that ain't get paid with Rare Room, type in. You feel me? Even if you left early on some scary shit, we'll still compensate you because there's nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a lot of girls going on here making all these surviving stories. You know, it's, it's actually hella funny to me. Keep it active with you, but, you know, a lot of that shit, um, well, certain girls putting it on thick. I'm not going to cap. You know, certain girls putting it on thick. We do got a lady that's actually coming onto the platform, Real Rum TV, and uh, she's going to share some shit with y'all. I'm, I'm going to get that up in the behind the scenes inside the Real Room this week. I fuck with Ch I fuck with Chastity. That's my home girl. You feel me? Um, let's go, man. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep being positive. Shout out to the real ones. Shout out to the people that understand the business. Shout out to the real supporters, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. All good, man. Let's keep it lit. Let's keep the positive vibes. Let's keep pushing black men to be successful. The streets to be successful. You could always be whatever you want to be if you put your mind to it. I'm the living proof. Nigga come from nothing. Don't ever let comments and fans disturb you. Keep your head up. Keep pushing. I know it's some real youngers in here. I know it's some real young ladies in here. Y'all just keep your head up. Keep pushing. It ain't nothing you can't do. I promise y'all that. I never thought in a million years that I'd be a CEO of a label and a network and have two of the best artists on the West Coast on. And my app would have been number 52 in the entertainment charts in the world. These are major goals, dreams. You know, they sleep on me. That's fine. I don't even care. I just want to keep getting paid. So, um, you know, let's keep it going. I'm giving y'all multiple shows. Y'all give me some ideas. Y'all could even send me direct DMs. Sometimes I be bored and I check my shit. I be on, I check my main page. You know, y'all just get at me, man. Let me know what y'all want to see. Give me a lot of ideas. I appreciate y'all. Let's keep it going though, man. It's time to ball out. It's time to go. You feel me? It's giving bossy. You broke bitch. Let's go. Young Rich Moolah. Let's get it, nigga. Yeah. And I was actually really surprised to hear him say that he was going to pay the ladies that are saying they were not paid. I think that is great that he's going to be doing that. So I will keep you guys updated on that if he actually follows through. I hope that he does follow through, though. I really, really do.
And just in case you didn't know, the newest person to speak out is Raya Renee. She was terminated on episode three for allegedly being ungrateful and complaining too much to production about the food and other things. So the ladies in this surviving Center Girl series have said that they were led to believe that the show was something that it was not. They're all saying they were manipulated, treated unfairly, not paid. Personally, I think the situation is really sad because right now I think all the cast members should be just out there promoting the show. But the people in the series are not happy and hopefully all parties will get together and resolve things. So definitely let me know your thoughts on what Mula had to say in his Instagram live. And for those of you that are watching the Stunner Girls Bel Air, let me know what you guys think of the show. Let me know what you guys think about the ladies that have been sharing their stories. The ladies that are not happy regarding their situations and why they left the show, why they were terminated. Let me know your thoughts on all that as well. Bula, you said you're making 799k per month. You have over 100,000 subscriptions on Red Rum TV. So please pay the ladies. No one should have to work for free. He said that he's willing to pay his cost. Let's see if he does. Let's see how all this plays out. Anybody that ain't get paid with Red Rum, tap in. You feel me? Even if you left early on some scary shit. We are still compensate you because it's nothing. And thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.